Hey guys, this is Austin. So can you get a decent laptop for under $250? On one hand, you could get the ASUS Chromebook C300, a 13-inch laptop running Google's Chrome OS. On the other, you've got the new HP Stream 13, a full-blown Windows 8.1 laptop that also comes in at $230. Crack open the Chromebook and you'll find the laptop itself along with a compact power adapter. Unwrap the C300 and you'll see a brushed plastic finish that looks a bit like actual metal and absolutely gets coated in fingerprints. The design itself is basic but nice enough. It measures in at less than an inch thick and just over 3 pounds. Move over to the stream and you'll see it comes with a bigger 2-piece power adapter along with a link to redeem a Windows Store gift card that isn't quite live yet. There's also a year subscription to Office 365 which usually costs $100, a very nice addition on a $230 laptop. Unwrap the stream itself and it is very, very blue. Right now you have the choice between blue and pink which gives a serious contrast with the all black look of the Chromebook. The stream is a bit thinner, however it's also noticeably heavier which probably has more to do with the build quality than anything else. Open up the lid on the Chromebook and you'll find a 13.3 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 The resolution is basically what you expect at this price point, but the colors are poor and the viewing angles are just bad. Look at the screen at anything besides straight on and everything washes out quickly, and on top of that there's some stress behind the panel on my unit causing very noticeable warping on the screen. While the size and resolution are the same, the display in the stream is a notch above. The screen assembly feels much more robust, and the viewing angles are better too. Not amazing, but a big improvement. When you first boot up a Chromebook, it's very straightforward. You jump on Wi-Fi and log into your Google account. If you already use Chrome, it will grab your sync information, including bookmarks, apps, etc. On the stream, it's typical Windows with a fairly sharp setup, but you'll have to spend a while downloading updates. You'll also find some bloatware including McAfee and some HP software, all of which can be cleared up easily enough with CCleaner. With only 17GB of free space out of the box, every little bit helps. Where the Chromebook has a full-sized SD card slot, the stream opts for microSD instead, which allows you to add an extra 32GB for less than $20, which is basically a necessity. The keyboard on the Chromebook is pretty solid. There's a subtle bulge under the spacebar which gives you a comfortable position to type on, and since it's running Chrome OS, the layout is slightly tweaked, including a search key instead of caps lock. The stream keyboard is decent, but it's a bit mushier than on the Chromebook and sports an extra row of keys on the right side, which can be an annoyance since the home button is right beside backspace. The trackpad is unfortunately just disappointing. It's not particularly accurate and it doesn't always pick up a tap on the first try. Not only is the trackpad on the Chromebook bigger, but it's also much nicer to use. It tracks nicely and supports multi-touch gestures much better than on the stream, including swiping with two fingers to go back or to scroll. Interestingly, both laptops are almost identical inside. The Chromebook sports a dual-core Intel Pentium N2830 clocked it up to 2.4GHz, 2GB of RAM, a 32GB SSD, and 802.11ac Wi-Fi. The stream slightly improves on this with a processor that can run up to 2.6GHz, but drops down to wireless N for Wi-Fi. The low-powered Pentium allows both laptops to be fanless, which combined with SSDs makes them completely silent. Performance-wise, the Chromebook seems to handle the modest specs fairly well. Playing HD flash video is no problem, and with up to 6 or 7 tabs, everything stays nice and smooth. Move over to the stream and it holds up reasonably well, however it's clear that running full Windows 8.1 is a bit more demanding. In return, you're getting a more fully featured operating system. Basically, any Windows application will work on the stream, which is a huge plus. While you really won't be using this as a hardcore gaming PC, the stream can handle lighter games like League of Legends on low settings. On the other hand, Chrome OS is much simpler. If you've never used a Chromebook before, it's essentially a lightweight operating system that's entirely built around the Chrome browser. For normal web surfing, this works great, and a lot of apps I use on the desktop are available, including Spotify, TweetDeck, and Pocket Casts. You can also download apps from the Chrome Web Store that work offline, like Sunrise Calendar, and even some Android apps like Duolingo and Vine are now available. Flash games will work, but even games designed for Chrome like Bastion don't always run that smoothly. Unfortunately, if you want to be running full Windows apps on the Chromebook, you're out of luck. Although on the flip side, that also means that you don't really have to worry about viruses or bloatware. Battery life is definitely a highlight for both laptops. With such low power processors, you'll easily get a full day of use out of them and then some. If you really think about it, it's kind of crazy that you can get a decent laptop for about the same price as a 7-inch tablet. While the build quality definitely leaves something to be desired, the dual-core Pentium and 2GB of RAM works well on the Chromebook, and the better keyboard and especially trackpad make a big difference in everyday use. The stream gives you a much more usable screen, more durable build, and most importantly full Windows. Performance isn't amazing, but being able to run Windows apps is a huge plus. So would you pick up the stream or Chromebook? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I've got to give a big shout out to Play Versus for making this video possible. 
Play Versus is a cool new app that's all about playing games while supporting your favorite sports team. There's a whole list to choose from which are surprisingly fun. You've got everything from kicking field goals to an endless runner. My favorite part is that they're nice and simple, perfect for playing when you've got a couple minutes free. Best of all, you earn points by playing against your friends, which you can use to redeem actual prizes like game consoles, event tickets, and more just by playing. Definitely be sure to check it out in the link in the description and give it a try. Play Versus is totally free. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.